Have you ever played The Binding of Isaac? Yes? Okay, so, do you know what happens in Genesis 22 of the Hebrew Bible? No? Well, if you've played The Binding of Isaac before, then odds are you do. Let me explain. As I'm sure all of you guys know, The Binding of Isaac has tons and tons of references to the Bible. For example, the name The Binding of Isaac is based off a direct story from the Bible. So what I want to do is a series where I break down as many of these references as I can and explain them here on Kielbin. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. Let's start with the most obvious topic. Where does the name The Binding of Isaac come from? Like I said, it comes from the Hebrew Bible found in Genesis 22. And I'll explain that story for you guys right now. For all of you Isaac fans, this will sound very familiar. But if you don't see the connection right away, I'll break it all down for you after. The story starts with a married couple, Abraham and Sarah. The couple wanted to have a child, but were always unable to. But then God promised them he would give them a child. They trusted God, and God kept his promise. Eventually, the couple then gave birth to a child. They named that child Isaac, and they loved him more than anything. We then skip forward some years later. It's uncertain how much time has passed, but most stories depict Isaac as a child between the ages of 5 to 10. However, he could have been anywhere from the ages of 5 to 37. Let's just say he's 5 since that's how old he is in the game. So one day, God spoke to Abraham. He said to take his son Isaac to the region of Moria and then sacrifice him as a burnt offering on a mountain. A burnt offering is when you burn your offering on an altar. In these times, one of the ways that people showed their love and devotion to God was by bringing him sacrifices. Typically, the sacrifices were done with an animal like a lamb. The next morning, Abraham, Isaac, and two of Abraham's servants collected wood for the burnt offering and then set out to Moria. When Abraham saw where the sacrifice would take place in the distance, he told the servants to stay, and he went alone with Isaac. Isaac asked his father where the lamb was for the offering, and Abraham replied saying that God will provide the lamb. The two started to walk up. Isaac carried the wood, Abraham carried the fire and a knife. They reached the spot that God had told them to go. Abraham built an altar and arranged the wood on it. He then bound Isaac and laid him on the altar. Abraham then took out his knife to kill Isaac. But then suddenly, an angel from God called out to him from heaven, saying, Abraham, Abraham! Abraham replied, saying, Here I am. The angel then says, Don't lay a hand on the boy. Do not do anything to him. Now I know that you fear God, because you have not withheld from me your son, your only son. Abraham then looked up and saw a ram caught by its horns in a thicket. He then proceeded to sacrifice the goat instead of Isaac. The angel then speaks to Abraham and explains that since he has obeyed God, he will be blessed. So that should sound pretty familiar to all you Isaac fans out there. But if not, I will break it down all for you guys. But first, let's finish out Isaac's life. Later in Isaac's life, he found a girl, Rebecca, that he fell in love with and married. The couple then gave birth to twin boys, Jacob and Esau. Isaac and Rebecca played favorites. Isaac favored Esau, while Rebecca favored Jacob. Isaac was 60 at this point. This led to many conflicts, but that's for a later video when we cover Jacob and Esau if you guys want that. After Abraham died, Isaac moved around a little bit and found himself in the well business just like his father. Isaac eventually grew old and became blind. He then passed away at the age of 180. He was buried by Jacob and Esau, and that's where Isaac's story ends. It's honestly crazy how much of this story is referenced in the game. The entire opening cutscene is just another version of Abraham sacrificing Isaac. Let's go over the opening cutscene and compare it to the story that I just told. Isaac's mom hears a voice from above. She interprets the voice as God's voice. The voice then convinces the mom to sacrifice her only son, Isaac. Which is exactly what God did to Abraham. The mom and Abraham both agree to sacrifice Isaac. In the game, the voice says the sacrifice is to prove the mom's love and devotion. And then he explains it as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. Which is the exact reason why people used to sacrifice to God. Instead of going to a mountain to sacrifice Isaac, the mom simply goes to Isaac's room and tries to kill him with a butcher's knife. So at this point in the opening cutscene, Isaac will go down a trap door and then the game starts. However, in one of the endings, the story continues. As Isaac's mom is trying to kill Isaac, the narrator then states, God intervened, sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. And just like that, it was over. In the game, an angel drops the Bible on the mom's head, presumably knocking her out, maybe killing her, I don't know. 
but in the Bible, the angel just directly told Abraham to stop. So as you can see, the two stories are very, very similar. And that passage about Abraham and Isaac, that passage is literally referred to as the binding of Isaac. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's more connections to the story in Isaac, and maybe I'll cover them in a future video. But one thing I want to point out that isn't immediately obvious is where Isaac's mom's last name comes from. Her last name is never revealed in the game, but in the Binding of Isaac card game, Four Souls, it is. A card reveals her last name, Moria, which is the place that God sent Abraham and Isaac to sacrifice Isaac at. Also her initials spell out mom, but that's aside the point. I do plan to make more videos breaking down all the religious references in Isaac. So if you want to see more, subscribe so you don't miss it. This video did take a lot of work because before I didn't know a ton on this topic, so I used the three most trusted sources. Reddit, Wikipedia, and Kyle. Thank you guys. That's all I have today. If I messed anything up or whatever, just let me know in the comments. I'll try to reply to everything that I can. And let me know what Isaac character or item or whatever you want me to cover next. And I'll do that. <laughs> all right. That's all I got. Peace out. Have a happy Tuesday.